Okay, I'll give that a shot. I didn't expect to find him easily. Thanks anyway, bud. Oh my! This mine certainly looks old. Um, sir, if I might trouble you, can you tell me if this is the old dwarf mine? Well, actually, sir, I'm looking for someone. He's an old dwarf, far older than you or I. Perhaps you've seen him lately? Well, thank you for your time. Sorry to have interrupted your work. Whoa, it smells like Mama got after a big bean dinner. Blah! <laughs> That's the volcano you're getting a whiff of. Sulfur. Some parts of the mine cut through vents in the volcano, and the smell fills the mine. After a while, you don't even notice it. I'm looking for an old dwarf guy. Have you seen one here lately? Thanks for nothing. You deserve to stink. Bad, bad, bad. Duh. Hey there. Have you seen an old dwarf lately? Mumbles hasn't been down here in a long time. Try the sanctuary at the top of the mine. Pardon me, sir, but have you seen an old dwarf wizard by any chance? Hey, have you seen an old dwarf in this stink hole? Gold! I just know it's here! I can smell it! Come on, Gold! Show your stuff! Dwarves? Oh, dwarves! One of them little buggers comes down here every once in a while selling tools. They're good with tools and gadgets, them dwarves. Yes, but where does he live? Don't know, don't care. I'm a-digging for gold, Junior, and I ain't going home to my woman until I find some. Gold, gold, gold! Talk to Papa. Tell him how to find ya. Right. Thanks anyway. Wonderful. Would you happen to know where in the sulfurous maze he could be found? Well, thanks anyway. Jumping catfish! It's a curse turn gollywog! Ah! G get, get away from me, you beast! Wait a minute. I never saw a talking gollywog. So what in tarnation are you? Well, anyway, yeah, I seen the dwarf in here sometimes. He sells gadgets to us miners. Good, good, good. Where does he live? Gah. Oh, great. Now he chooses to lose his mind. Just... Wonderful! A dwarf? Oh, you mean a dwarf! Is he a short, fat guy with a long, white beard? Yes, that sounds like him. Do you know him? Nope, never heard of him. All dwarves are short, fat guys with long, white beards. I have heard they work their craft inside the sanctuary. Up at the top of the mine, though. Well, at least that's something to go on. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Don't mention it! I'm glad to help! Uh, say, if you do come across any of those dwarf trinkets, send them my way! They're worth a king's ransom! Oh, yes! Yes! Do you know him? Top of the mine, sanctuary... Right. Thank you, sir. Yikes! It's the biggest freaking bat I've ever seen! Scram! Beat it! Get out of here! Ouch! Hey, you bit me, you fat, no-good friggin' parasite! Ha! You deserved it, you mountain hick! Gah. Oh, hello there. 
You scared me. It's rare to have visitors these days. Well, you gave me a start, too. I thought you were another monster. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. My name's Glug. I'm a dwarf artisan. Really? How can you be a dwarf? I thought they were all short guys with long beards. That's the old look. Nowadays, pretty much anything goes. Some of the dwarves don't like it, but I suppose their ways of thinking will eventually die out. Well, that was fun. A little Dwarf 101, I guess. Say, you're obviously an elf. Do you know my friend? His name is Slick from the Elfwoods Village. Ever heard of him? Slick? Oh, so you do know him. That guy's the greatest. Yeah, the greatest boob I've ever had the misfortune of getting involved with. Well, maybe you caught him on an off day. He's really very nice. Anyway, enough chit-chat. What can I do for you? This guy's a complete dork. I can't believe he likes Slick. Well, have you heard anything about a special seal crafted by a dwarf? Sure, I know about the legend of the Black Seal. I've read about it on the Great Stone Wall. I once asked Mumbles to explain it to me, but he's not too keen on talk, so all I know is what I've seen on the wall. And I'm afraid that's not much. Sorry I frightened you, but I must admit you gave me a start too. A dwarf? Really? But I thought that all dwarves were short, fat guys with long white beards. Well then, I suppose one does learn something new every day. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Tat. Glad to meet you, Tat. Say, it looks like you're from the forest. Am I right? That's absolutely correct. Hey, I have a friend who lives there. His name is Slick. Do you know him? Mr. Slick is your friend? This fellow is friends with him? I hope the lad isn't retarded. Perhaps he's just led a sheltered life. Oh, yes, my mission. Actually, I wanted to ask you if you knew anything about the Black Seal. Oh, ah, monsters have stormed the sanctuary! Oh, I'm trapped! G g get away! Relax! I'm not going to eat you! I am not a monster! Uh, uh, I'm Glug, a dwarf master artisan. Uh, uh, are you sure you don't eat people? You know, uh, I'm mostly fat and wouldn't be very tasty. God doesn't eat people. God eats fish. Say, if you're a dwarf, why don't you have a beard? Well, these days, God runs into many strange elves and dwarves. They even make French people seem normal. Elves? <laughs> you know, I have a good friend who's an elf. Maybe you know him. His name's Slick. Slick? Slick? This guy's friends with Slick? Well... Can you tell me about the Black Seal? Ho! Oh, where do you think you're going? What? I'm just passing through here. Who are you, bub? We're members of the Rebel Army. What of it? 
Well, isn't that special? Listen, I've got no beef with you, so why don't you just step aside and let me through, Buster? This passage is off limits to commoners, so get lost! I'm sorry to have bothered you, sir. My name is Tat, and I'm on a journey that requires me to pass through this point. Excuse me, but I didn't catch who you were. The army? Oh my! Well, I certainly don't want any trouble, but I really must get through. The army? Oh my! Well, I certainly don't want any trouble, but I really must get through. Far from your ugly mug, lizard lips. Ha! Ha! Everyone's a comedian these days. Look! Am I getting through to you? This area is closed, off limits, and out of bounds. So scram! What's that? The guards won't let you pass. Well, shoot. Don't worry about them. They're as harmless as a couple of tree frogs. But I have to get past that door. Do you know of a way to get around them? A bribe, maybe? Well, there might be one way. No, I don't really remember too good. I've got to keep digging for gold so I can go home. Now, if and I had some gold bars, my life would be so much easier. I might just remember something. Pardon me again, but I was trying to pass the checkpoint and the guards wouldn't let me through. I wonder if I could trouble you to help me find a way past. Those creepy guards won't let me past. Can you help Ga find a way to get through? Yes, 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 Ga. Uh, yeah, right. On second thought, maybe I can find another way past you. Hi there. What brings you back here so soon? With a cute guy like you, how can I stay away? Say, Glug, um, I was admiring your work, and well, I got to thinking, do you suppose you could make a trinket for little old male? A trinket? Oh, you mean one of my skilled artists and creations. I'd be happy to give you one. But why do you want one of those? Well, the rebel army is blocking the way through the mine. But their leader is very fond of dwarf craftsmanship, so I was going to trade him a trinket for passage through the mine. Get it? Well, you're a good friend of Slick's, and those are hard to find. Okay, I'll give you one. Here, take this one. It's one of my very favorite pieces. Really? Oh, Glug, you're the greatest! I won't forget this. Be very careful with that trinket, though. All dwarf crafts have hidden powers. Well, Glug, I have a special problem and I need your help with it. I was wondering if you might spare one of your trinkets. I'm in desperate need of one. You see, the rebel army has closed the very passage I must travel through to continue my mission. But I've heard their leader has a special fondness for dwarf crafts. Though I detest bribery in any form, I'm afraid in this case it's my only alternative. Honestly? You're... you're not joking? Oh, Glug! I really don't know how to thank you! Oh, no! Not you again! Yes, God is here again, Jelly Boy! This time, I want a good dwarf trinket! 
I need one to secure passage through the mine. Give, give, give. Gah. Uh, take this one and leave me alone. This is just what I needed. Bye. Hey, you! Did not make myself clear. You can't pass through here. Oh, I know that. I've brought a gift for your leader. See? But I have to give it to him personally. All right, then. Wait right here. The chief wants to see you right away. Get in there. Hey, look what I got from the Badger Gang leader. I apologize for bothering you, but I brought this for your leader. Listen, you weird little freak of nature. I said you can't pass through. Ga has a nice dwarf trinket to give to your leader. Go get him. Now, now, now. Gah. Oh, very nice. Thank you, peasant, for your oh-so-humble gift. By the way, I'm Clavadin Clotsnipper, Lietzel Biffle, Poopy Woof, and Von Vanantio, Kraken Lichter, Ratchet Face, the 14th, Feudal Lord of Oderberg. But you can call me Lord Venantio. How do you say that without biting your tongue? Oh, enough about me. Too much Venancio could be bad for your health. <laughs> Say, you seem to be one who expects big rewards for good work. I was thinking, do you want to join our cause? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Oh, that's such a shame. We could have used your help recovering the treasure. Treasure? Did you say treasure? Yes, you see, we of the Rebel Army are planning a heist of about three tons of gold. In fact, there's a strategy meeting taking place very soon. Hmm... Too bad you can't make it. Three tons? Tons? Woohoo! Sign me up! Ah, my eager new friend. Right this way. The meeting room is just ahead. We'd better hurry. I don't see anyone here. What are you talking about? Wh what's going on here, Venancio? If that is your name. <laughs> you are so gullible. There's a reward of three million gold on your little group's heads. Or didn't you know that? <laughs> you can't expect me to let that go now, can you? Say what? Oh, don't play coy with Venuncio. I know that you are the three that destroyed Bountyville. Muttonhead told me all about you. Muttonhead? Oh, if I get my hands on that lying old windbag, I'll wring his neck. Your pretty little corpses are going to finance my whole revolution! <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Your fate is sealed. All that's left is for you to die. And, for posterity's sake, I do hope you die gracefully. <laughs> That's, uh, quite a noble name. Oh, how diplomatic of you to say so. <laughs> say, by the looks of it, you're a magician. Would you like to join our cause? 
I do appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I have a mission of my own. Uh, did you say treasure? Three tons of gold bullion? Well, I suppose I could put my plans on hold to help you with your noble cause. That is, if your gracious invitation is still open. But Lord Venuncio, there's no one here. Lord Venuncio, what are you doing? What? I beg your pardon? Oh, Master, what have you done? Gah is hungry. Does Lord Venuncio have something for God to eat? <laughs> Gah. <laughs> Tell me something. You look like a hard worker. Would you like to join our well-fed cause? I can't join you. I'm on a quest with Mail and Tad. Treasure? Gah! Gold makes Mail very happy. Maybe Gah will surprise her. And Gah can get some gold too. Rich, rich, rich. Gah! Your Lordship, there's no one here. It's a trap! Run, Lord Venuncio! God doesn't know what you're talking about. Muttonhead is a liar! Lie, lie, lie! Gah! Venuncio! You mangy flea bag! Now I'm gonna teach you some manners! <laughs> so, you escaped my happy flames of death, hmm? What a clever feat for such a simple mind. Now then, if you know what's good for you, you'll stay where you are. You mustn't come any closer. If you do, it could be extremely detrimental to your health. Like I should trust anything that comes out of your mouth, you snake. Your game's up. Well, you look kind of suppressed. Is there something wrong? <laughs> it's not like I didn't warn you. I just had this installed. How do you like it? Tell me, were you truly surprised? <laughs> oh, I just kill myself. Venencio, you dirty troll! I can't believe you got me again! You'll pay for this! Who will you pay? Lord Venencio, I don't like this, but I'm afraid I have to take you in. I'm not falling for another one of your tricks. Oh, looks like I spoke too soon. Hey, you slippery runt! You tricked me! But God will not fall for your tricks two times! Gah! Uh, I guess God will fall for your tricks twice, but not three times! Hi there! Fancy running into you again! Glug, you scared the mail right off me. I know you're a dwarf and everything, but can you show up a little less quickly next time? Yeah, sure thing. I, I was surprised to see you too. I, I just finished work and was heading back to my village. Hmm, well that's the way I'm going so we can go together. Say, who's that behind you? Ta-da! Yes, all your dreams have come true. It's Slicky. You mean all my nightmares?
This has got to be some kind of a curse. Say, Maylee, you don't look so hot. Want a bite of my apple? I already took a bite, but hey, what's a little saliva between friends? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Say, Maylee, you don't look so hot. Want a bite of my apple? I already took a bite, but hey, what's a little saliva between friends? That's depressed, you nitwit. And nothing is wrong with me that a little distance couldn't fix. <gasps> My stars! You gave me quite a start there, Mr. Glug. Perhaps next time you can give me some advance warning? Well then, I'll come with you. By the way, who is that behind you? Yes, today was definitely a stay in bed, turn off the alarm, roll over, go back to sleep kind of day. Say there, Tatters, you're looking kind of down. Want my apple? I took a bite, but the rest is fine. Who knows, it might pick you up. Uh, no, 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 Slick, no apple. Uh, thanks. Ah! It's him! The evil Smurf Dragon! Well, if it isn't the new wave dwarf from the sanctuary! Ga won't eat you! You helped Ga! Tell me why you're here. If you're going to your village, I'll go with you! Say, who's that hiding behind you? Ga! <laughs> uh, hi there, Ga. Why do you keep showing up? All you bring is trouble. Uh, you're right. I, I should go. Bye. Oh, oh no, no! Glug, what's wrong? Hey, look at that! They've got welcome fires burning! Are these dwarves great or what? This place has obviously been looted and destroyed, Lunkhead. It's not here! They took it! Oh no! What's not here? Glug? Hello? The Guardian! The Mithril Guardian! It's the protector of our sanctuary and the source of all our Mithril! Glug, you don't mean the Holy Silver, do you? Slick, what is he talking about? What is Mithril? Sheesh! Were you raised in the jungle by a pack of gypsy iguanas? Everybody knows that Mithril is the metal that dwarves use to craft their magical devices. It's a sacred form of something called silver. Only dwarves can work with it, you know. Well, you're a regular Mr. Know-it-all when it comes to the dwarves. I'm so impressed. Well, I have spent quite a lot of time around the dwarves lately. And, uh, just between you and me, I think they kind of like having someone around to look up to. Glug, they took all our mithril. You must stop them. Oh, oh no, Raffi. It had to be them. They wanted the mithril, and now they've got it. Glug, who was it? Who did this? It was the rebel army. What? They're supposed to be against the monsters. Ooh! 
Ooh, that Venuncio! Leave this one to me! I'll get your mithril back, and I'll wring that blue-haired freak's neck in the process. Mail? I don't believe it! You're gonna work for free? Well... I'm sure there's a reward of some kind in it. Uh-oh, I don't like the look of this at all. The cruelty! This village was torched deliberately! I can't believe Venuncio would stoop this low. What is it, Glug? What did they take? Mithril Guardian? You say someone has taken your Mithril Guardian? Oh, great! If they have the Mithril Guardian, the magical powers it contains could ruin us all! I'm shocked that you even have a clue as to what's at stake here, Mr. Slick. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Hey, you know me. If there's jewels or precious metals involved, I want to know about it. But who could have done this? Just as I had feared. I can't let this go unpunished. I must go after the Mithril and the rebel leader. You know, Tapster, you're a really decent guy. Be careful. Hey! What's with all the fire? I don't like the look of this at all! I can't believe my village was attacked while I was gone! What? What's not here? Mithril? What's that? Yes, if they figure out how to use it, we're all sunk. Who are you talking about? You mean Venancio? That no-good slug licker's gone too far this time! Just leave it to me. God will find that turd-smoking coward and get your Mithril back. Well, if I help, do I get a share of the reward? Pinhead, if you help, there won't be any share to split. Hmm, maybe you won't have to. Hey, what the heck is this block of ice doing? <gasps> Gah, it's slick! Hold it, frog face. Where do you think you're going? Raffi, hold on! I can't imagine you'd have any better ideas, so just zip it, Buster. Gah. Well, hello again. Apparently, some people just don't know when to quit. Venuncio! That's Lord Venuncio to you, peasant. Lord of Loserville, I'm going to put an end to your arrogant talk. Ooh, that sounds so scary. Do you have any idea what this guardian can do? Hmm? Hmm? The dwarves have made it strong with magic power. You don't stand a chance. Hiding behind a piece of armor, coward? Get down here and let's settle this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that dim-witted. This Guardian is more powerful than you will ever understand. And I don't intend to come to your level. Your end is at hand, Urchin. Witness the awesome power of Mithril! Hey, what is this thing? 
This, my dear, is a most powerful foe. It was crafted by dwarves using the awesome power of Mithril. Liar. If this thing is made of Mithril, how can it live? Oh. <laughs> Believe me, it lives so long, sucker. <laughs> Lord Venencio, what's going on here? <laughs> At last, I have equal footing with even the magicians. As of today, I wield the awesome power of Mithril. That may be, but magic is not always what it seems, my misguided foe. Is that so? Ah, but you have yet to witness my mastery of it. Allow me to demonstrate. I've got it all figured out. With this tinfoil, paperclip, used gum, and bat droppings, I've crafted a bomb that's sure to blow this blockage to bits. You're roasting the ice with your breath? Ah, stop! You'll toast my legs to ashes! This is totally not fair. I save your stupid life and you rip me off and laugh about it. <laughs> well done, my pitiful opponents. You've collected the last orb, but without the dragon stone my clubster is guarding, you'll never open the gate to the tower pinnacle. <laughs> It's Mithril! Did you hear me? Mithril, I say! We're gonna be rich! <laughs> Robin Leach will be banging down my door! I can't wait! But I don't see how it can possibly live if it's crafted entirely from Mithril. Is that possible? Holy cow! It's Venencio! God will stop you! Just wait! <laughs> oh my god! Such hostility! No need for that. You're just in time. <laughs> so glad you could join us. For your dying pleasure this evening, we've selected a pressed hero a la rouge. And now, behold, the awesome power of Mithril! Gah! Behold me soiling my shorts! Ha 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 ha! I found you! You're mine, you limping puddle of baby fat! Oh my! Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare! Your scariest dream! Your sexiest enemy! And the master of all I survey! Cower in fear before my fearsome manliness! Get real! Do you think I'm going to fall for your steroid-induced threats? Forget it, muscles! Listen to me now and fear me pretty soon. I am no kindergarten cop. The sissy man Fernandio could not teach you a lesson, so I have come to terminate you. I am the predator and you are my prey. This little skirmish will be your last action, hero person. It's judgment day. I'm beginning to get the picture now. You're the geek that's been sending out all the monsters after us, including Venencio and all these weird golems. Oh, the little infant has a brain. How impressive. You are such a smart baby with the skinny arms. When did you graduate from party school? Let me tell you something, punky chops.
I am Sventy Uncommon. Remember that before I clutch your brain like a tiny juicy raisin. And who, may I ask, are you, sir? Well, you are quite the impressive speaker, but as for inspiring fear, you seem to fall a bit short. Aha! Now I'm beginning to piece it together. So you are the mastermind behind Lord Venuncio and all the strange golem creatures. Ga is my name, and Ga is not fat. You are a fat little caveworm who needs to learn how to say no to cake and pie. I have no cake and pie here for you, fatty bottom. I am not looking for cake and pie. Ga is looking for the black seal. Tell me where it is. So you are the tiny trespasser I have been looking for. It's time for you to tremble before my bountiful biceps. In your dreams, Buttwee. I can't believe Muttonhead was captured by such a weak pile of diaper paste. Listen to me now and fear me this minute. I am Sven. Sven T. Uncommon. You don't stand a chance against my perfectly pumped up manliness. So sit very still while I grind you into slimy little pooper-like. Whoa, what in the world was that? Ta-da! Slicky to the rescue! Guess you just can't finish your job without me, eh, Maylee? Slick? You're still alive? Well, geez, you don't gotta sound overjoyed or anything. You'd think I'd at least get a big wet kiss or something, but knowing you, I guess it's not in the cards, eh, Maylee? You got that right, loser. Oh well, we're still pals, so I'll help you out of this mess. Stand back. This could get messy. Oh no, not another bomb! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! The kid's turned into a raving lunatic! Uh-oh. Knock it off, Slick! Looks like we've got company. <laughs> Sorry, Maylee. Whew, I got a little carried away once those bombs started popping. Whoa! <laughs> what is this?! What else? You did another stupid thing, and now we're in big trouble. The seal! I came here to look for the seal! Understand? Stand back, Mail. I'll protect you. All right, guys. You know the routine. Hands against the wall and spread them! Shut up, Slick! I'm the Chief Dwarf here. What do you want to know? Well, you can start by telling me what these massive metal alien thingies are made of. Then I'd like to know where you managed to find your clothes. Is there a short and squatty store around here somewhere? Or do you go in for the tailored thing? Come to think of it, why don't you tell me that first? I'd really like to know. Will you shut up? Let me handle this. Actually, we were most interested in the Black Seal. The Seal? Oh, ha ha ha! The Seal. I made that a long time ago. I was but a boy. It was such a very long time ago. Hey! Hello?
Hello? Oh, brother. Are you awake? <laughs> well, of course I'm awake. I was, uh, lost in deep thought. I do that sometimes. Now then, you want to know about the seal. Slick, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> mithril! This home is made entirely of mithril! <laughs> Can you believe it? This monster's gonna make me rich! Look out, Donald Trump, here comes Slicky! Good. Maybe that'll keep him out of my hair. Uh, uh, now then, follow me. That's right. Now up this way. That's easy for you to say. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't use magic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's actually quite safe. Just imagine there are stairs. Cool! It's an invisible stairway. Ah, it will always be here, as long as you believe. Behold, the Great Wall of Shikra stands before you. Yes. Let me interpret. Here is an age-old depiction of heaven. You can see those who rebelled against goodness and light. These evil ones would stop at nothing to destroy all that is good. But they were stopped, for the defenders of heaven were legion. This wall is a pictorial account of that battle. It ends at the point where I created the seal. It was a dark time, and many souls were lost. In fact, one still remains in this very place. His name is Sven. Sven T. Uncommon. Once, he fought for good. Now, he fights for the Overlord. Well, actually, I've already taken care of that pompous jerk. <laughs> you, you mean to say that you've defeated Sven? That muscle-bound dweeb was all talk. He's history now. Ah, you see, Sven is like a shadow. When at last you think he is gone, he will once again reappear. <laughs> Thank you for leading me right to the old man, bulimia brain. Sven! How did you... Oh, Mumbles! Have I scared the tired and flabby old dwarf man? Heretic! Do not waggle your blasphemous tongue! You have defiled this temple with your presence! Sven, you chrome-plated creep! You tricked me into leading you here! You are so smart that you almost make me want to be afraid, spindly limbs! The old man knows too much about our secret plans. 
I have wanted to crush his feeble head for so long, but his seal was in my way. Now that you have so kindly let me in, my fantasy is about to come true. Snake! Coward! Oh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but you will never have the chance. So long, little small fry. Wait! Mumbles! This is just great. I finally catch up to him and he gets kidnapped. Oh, if he gets killed, I'll never learn the secret of the seal. Oh, great. I seem to have come upon another barrier. And an invisible one at that. Well, then I'm just the guy to help you out. Well, well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to find you here, Mr. Slick. Hey, Tatters, I'm surprised at you. Is that any way to talk to the guy that's going to help you get past this wall? You are going to help me pass this barrier? I would say you are suffering from delusions of grandeur. Guess again there, Tatsters. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I won't even charge you for doing it. This one's on the house. I have a feeling I'm going to regret your service in the very near future. Say, you wouldn't be doing this simply to show off for a certain bounty hunter, would you? Melee? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Anyways, just stand back and let me go to work. Do you really think your bombs have the strength to break this barrier? That is, without bringing this place down on our... Mr. Slick, what's wrong? Your wits haven't left you, have they? On second thought, maybe he would be a good match for mail. Oh dear. Trouble. Slick! Mr. Slick! Psst. We've got company! Just calm down. I'll go find some help. Oh my! Is that gold? Look at all that gold! <laughs> huh? Gold? What gold? Where? What's going on? <laughs> it's giant metal ducks from outer space! We, we, we gotta get out of here! Please, sirs, you must understand. We are not here to cause trouble. We're looking for Mr. Mumbles. Uh, Tatters, hate to break this to you, but they look like they're more interested in snapping us into bite-sized pieces. But, uh... Hey, what do you think they're made of, anyway? It's kind of shiny. You don't suppose it's mithril, do ya? Please, you must believe me. We mean you no harm. Mr. Slick, please restrain yourself. Please, pay no attention to him. He was brain damaged as a child. Sir, it seems my teacher has revived the Overlord. Please, I must know all about the Black Seal. Uh, sir? Hello there. Oh, dear Lord, he's had a stroke! Just my luck. It's all your fault, Mr. Slick. Um, Mr. Slick... This is not a good time to play horsey. Well then, happy trails, Mr. Slick. So long, my dim-witted doppelganger. I pray I shall never see you again. Is this some advanced form of levitation? I'm afraid my skills haven't extended that far yet. How completely novel! Invisible stairs! Well, if that's the same Sven that tried to kill me, you've nothing to worry about. He's finished. Yes, I destroyed him quite convincingly.
even surprise myself. Oh, thank you for the guided tour, little magic man. Sven, no more tricks. I demand you return the old man to me at once. Oh, look at the funny girly man getting a huff. Help me, I'm shaking all over. Your big floppy hat is hiding your small flabby brain. Why do you think you can command me? I am your superior in every way. Too bad your mother never warned you about how big and scary a perfectly pumped up man can be. If you know it's good for you, you'll never find out. So long, baby man. Oh, great! If I lose Mumbles, I'll never learn the secret of the seal. I've got to get him back. What, what, what's this? An invisible wall? Or, or spooks? Duh. Wait! Hey, Glug! Look at this! Duh. Did, did I hear you say spooks? No spooks! Well, at least not yet. God doesn't like this place. You came just in time. Do you know how to get past this wall? You must tell Ga! I have to get past this barrier! Tell, tell, tell Ga! Okay, okay, but I'm gonna get busted for this. I just know it. Here goes. Mumbles, it's me! Open up! <laughs> That's the voice of Glug, if I'm not mistaken. Come right on in. Glug, what kind of a monster have you taken in now? Uh, it's, a. Uh, well, he talks, and he wants to know about the seal. You can call me Ga. I'm trying to find out about the Black Seal. The Overlord has destroyed it, and I'm trying to fix it again. I, uh, better be going now. This place kind of gives me the creeps. Well, thanks, Glug. Don't be a stranger. Gah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, see you around. Now then, the seal. Hmm. Ah, yes. Follow me. How do you do that? Is it the power of Mithril? Gah. Hey! Gaw can fly too! Fun, fun, fun! Gah. What? Hey! There's a floor here! That's cheating! Gah. Sven, I saw that stupid fire barker just before I came here! Sven called Gaw fat! Gaw is not fat! But God taught him a lesson in manners. And destroyed him. Gah. You wish you could teach me a lesson, Pokeball? Instead, you have led me right to the sanctuary. This is totally impossible! God destroyed you! Oh, is Puffy Puss scared? Maybe I'm a spook. But that would be too easy. No, I am not a spook. But now that you have let me through the barrier, I can take the old dwarf out, and I don't mean to lunch. He knows too much for his own good. Thank you so much, poopy book. Coward! God will finish you! Smash, smash, smash! Gah! If your abdominus mask can catch me, Sven Dion Kamen will happily pummel your king-size bottom. Until then, swim in your baby tears until your mommy comes to burp you. Goodbye, hefty head. Come back here, you sleazy dwarf napper! Listen to me now and believe me later. I did not think you were so tiny brain that you would try to follow me. It's time to teach you a lesson in pounding papatude. Welcome to your nightmare!
All brawn and no brain. Your words don't scare me. I'll finish you this time. <laughs> oh, my! What a happy little party! My invitation must have been lost in the mail. But no matter. Now that I'm here, Master Sven, may I have the honor of finishing off this little annoyance? Venencio, you should feel ashamed to be in the same room with this trash. Shame on you! Aw, you're not really in a position to be scolding anyone, now are you? Master Sven has promised to reward me well for my total loyalty, and I intend to give it to him. Oh, when he gets so mushy, it makes my biceps quiver with total joy. But now I have no use for him. It's so sad. I would cry, but then I would have to eat quiche. <laughs> Master Sven! What are you doing? This is a total betrayal! I prefer to call it spring cleaning. Did you really think that I would team up with your puny baby army? Goodbye, my broken pet. <laughs> Mithril Guardian, hear my plea! Help me with your awesome power! Venencio, just tell me why! <laughs> the magic must be gone now. Oh, I just wanted to create a utopian society, but I needed the power to make it happen. Now I see that good can never come from evil, nor right from wrong. <laughs> I must pay the ultimate price for my foolishness. Jump, Venencio! Hurry! Goodbye, warrior. Maybe your way is the answer. Never give up! How dare you betray our leader! Die, you pig! Ah! Ah! Oh, poop! We're all dead! Your baby-sized attacks are tickling my totally pumped-up manliness. Look at this now and fear me immediately, tiny head! I'm in the mood to show off my totally toned biceps, bud. Prepare for a pounding. Don't be so sure of that simple kiddie plan. The last time we fought was only playtime for my perfect pompatude. This time it's for real. I'm afraid I'll have to teach you the virtue of good manners the hard way. Lord Venuncio, your alliance with this madman shames your family name. Lord Venuncio, jump! You may be able to save yourself! Lord Venuncio! If only I'd had the power to save him. At least I have the power to stop Sven. Sven Tian Common, you're about to meet your end. At my hand! God will not let you off so easily this time. You're history, bud! Venuncio, I can't believe you've been serving this creep! Coward, coward, coward! Ah. Curse you, Sven! You've won this battle, but you'll lose the war! The floor is crumbling! Somebody save me! Help, help, help! Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Ngawa Slicky! Ah, help me! Now, now, now! Ha! <laughs> Looks like you've got yourself into a pretty sticky situation.
But I just happened to have a bottle of Slicky Super Springy Heavy Duty Fruity Tooty Ultra Jump Potion, also available in caplets. And I'll trade it for all the money you got on you. What do you say? W whatever you want! Ah, throw it to me! Quickly! A bargain at twice the price. Here, catch! That was close! You almost missed! Ah. Yeah, well, you got it, didn't you? Sheesh, you do some people a favor and all they do is gripe, gripe, gripe. Come on, drink it already and get over here. That potion packs a big kick! Boom, boom, boom! Woo! You idiot! You jumped the wrong way! Now how are you gonna pay me? God will make sure you are destroyed this time! Dead, 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 gah! Silence, you pathetic pile of flabbertude! Last time I let you in! This time you will feel nothing but pain as I pummel you into puddles of pulsating poundage! Listen to me now and believe me later! You've arrived just in time to witness the manifestation of my mountainous manliness! So long, my flabby little foes! Now there is nothing that can save you from the wrath of the Overlord. He will avenge my death with the fury that will make my pompitude look like playtime. <laughs> now he's got another reason to be blue. <laughs> oh dear. How can I hope to reach him when he's obviously stark raving mad? I think I have underestimated the power of soup. Watch me die now and believe it later. Whoa, that's the biggest ice cube I've ever seen. <gasps> oh no, is that slick? Slickster has been stopped cold. Yes! <laughs> Wait a minute. This frozen fool has the path completely blocked. The world would be a better place if he stayed iced, but if I don't free him, I can't pass. I guess there's no choice. I'll have to hack him out. What a total shame. Oh, what hit me? <laughs> ah! My legs! They're frozen solid! Just shut up, you pathetic baby. Believe it or not, I'm trying to get you out of this mess. Now hold still while I break the rest of the ice. You're using your sword to break me out? Ah! Stop, you maniac! I don't want to lose my legs! What, pray tell, would you suggest I use, Einstein? Well, I saw one of the miners with a pot of hot coffee. Maybe you could go back to the mine and get it. It just might be hot enough to melt the ice. Aw, oh, come on! Mail, take a look at me! I'm a freak, a spectacle, a carnival side to attraction, for God's sake! You can't just leave me like this! And why not? At least you can't screw anything up. And I really like knowing just exactly where you are. Oh dear! Isn't that Mr. Slick? He must have been iced by a monster. It certainly is quite tempting to leave him as is. But I'm afraid he's blocking my way. Oh well, I suppose a little assistance would be in order. Now, how to melt the ice? Hmm. I wonder if my fire magic will do the trick. Well, there's only one way to find out. It worked! And it appears that you're fine, Mr. Slick. I'm almost finished. Please be still while I melt the rest. I'm very sorry it frightens you so, but there's no other way I can think of to free you. So, uh, what do you say? 
All right, your plan might work, provided I can find the miner you saw. I'll be back soon. Hey, what the heck is this block of ice doing? Gah! It's slick! <laughs> Looks like he got what was coming to him. Gah! Oh, no! He's blocking the path! Just my luck! I finally have him where I want him, and I've got to set him free! This kid is nothing but trouble! I wish I could leave him like this! <laughs>